Hello, my name is Aaron and I'm a technical marketing engineer on Cisco's SD-WAN product team. Today, we're going to discuss some of the recent enhancements that have come to Cisco SD-WAN that allow our customers to quickly and easily integrate to Cisco's SASE solution, Umbrella SIG. Now, before we get started, a bit of a level set. In the old days, it used to be that an organization's network and security architectures revolved around the data center, which makes sense since most of the crown jewels to an organization lived within these facilities. But fast forward to the cloud age where we are today, and you're starting to see more and more business critical functions hosted outside the organization's perimeter. Now, technologies like SD-WAN help us to efficiently route traffic to these resources, but how do we secure this traffic? Of course, there are all sorts of legacy methods like on-premise firewalls, but that's where SASE comes in to offer an alternative. SASE stands for Secure Access Service Edge, and it's essentially a blend of cloud-delivered networking and cloud-delivered security. The idea behind SASE is that we can apply the same level of security on traffic that we would have historically speaking, regardless of where that traffic is coming from, by using the cloud. In other words, SASE looks to use the pervasiveness of the cloud to apply security to your traffic no matter where you are on the globe. Umbrella SIG is Cisco's SASE solution, offering DNS layer monitoring, CASB, firewall, URL filtering, and extensive monitoring from the cloud. Any one or all of these features can be applied to your user's traffic regardless of their network access method. Pretty cool, but where does SD-WAN fit in? SD-WAN is just one of the many different methods that you can deliver your user's traffic to Umbrella SIG. But particularly if your organization decides to adopt Umbrella SIG as a primary method for securing branch traffic to the internet, you may find yourself questioning the availability and scalability of Umbrella SIG. This is where Cisco SD-WAN has you covered. Now, as of version 20.4, Cisco SD-WAN can now automatically light up multiple redundant active-active tunnels to the Umbrella SIG service, with each tunnel homing to a different data center. Aside from the redundancy this offers, by using flow-based ECMP, or Equal Cost Multipath Load Balancing, Cisco SD-WAN can also balance outbound traffic across each of these tunnels to allow your branch to scale up to 1 gigabits per second. But won't this backhaul add latency to my user's traffic, you may ask? Not like you might think. In fact, it may even drive down your latency. You see, Umbrella SIG maintains direct peerings with some of the world's top cloud and internet service providers. Some refer to this as optimizing the middle mile. Once your traffic is delivered to Umbrella, there's a good chance it'll ride premium bandwidth into the cloud service provider it was destined for, which minimizes this traffic's overall exposure to the wide open internet. Curious to learn more about middle mile optimization? Check out the link below to see our previous video on exactly how this works. Okay, so we can achieve redundancy, scalability, and optimization, all while adequately securing our traffic. But you may not want to send all your internet traffic towards Umbrella SIG, right? Wouldn't it be nice if you could pick and choose which apps require this level of scrutiny while allowing others to go out normally? With version 20.4, you can do just that. By leveraging Cisco SD-WAN centralized policy, administrators now have a wide variety of match criteria to choose from when selecting which traffic to send to Umbrella SIG for inspection. So let's take a peek at a demo quickly. First, a quick glance at our San Francisco branch host to verify that outbound internet connectivity flows via the organization's data center using our legacy security stack. Cisco SD-WAN automates branch connections to Umbrella SIG by utilizing feature templates. These templates define the credentials, redundancy scheme, and tunnel parameters. As with all templates, they can be reused across tens, hundreds, or even thousands of devices to save on operational overhead. Here, we've already created a few templates ahead of time. We'll attach them to our device template to kick off the process. After a few moments, we can see that our branch tunnels are now up and operational. Now, let's direct some traffic towards SIG. In our example, let's assume that we want to direct Office 365 traffic towards Umbrella SIG. For the sake of demonstration, we'll also direct ICMP and traceroute traffic towards Umbrella SIG as well, just so we can visualize the path change. Once we activate the policy, we can review the results. 
Notice how our ping times have drastically reduced. Now, granted, we're not backhauling that traffic to a data center anymore, as shown in the trace route, but that's one of the beauties of using Umbrella SIG for middle mile optimization. We get the same level of security applied to our traffic without the latency penalty. From the Umbrella dashboard, I can now define the security I would like to apply to this traffic. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this brief discussion of Cisco's SASE solution, Umbrella SIG, and how Cisco SD-WAN can help your organization leverage cloud security more efficiently. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and comment below if there's something more you'd like to see.